Good afternoon, I'm Eva Hoare with your Herald News Minute for Wednesday, July 18th. One of the players in the Cash for Concerts fiasco in Halifax came out miles ahead in terms of box office compared to what the city made in the deal. That according to the city's Auditor General, whose report into the scandal shows Trade Centre Limited made hundreds of thousands of dollars after it took over the city-owned Metro Centre's box office in 2006. Auditor General Larry Monroe's full report will be released online this afternoon. A provincial court judge thinks it's time to ban glass bottles and glasses in our bars. He made the comments Tuesday in an assault case stemming from a bar fight at a pub on the South Shore. It looks like lightning might be responsible for a fire that destroyed an Elmsdale home this morning. Luckily, everyone got out of the structure. In business news, the New Page paper mill in Port Hawkesbury is inching closer to reopening after a trio of court orders on Tuesday. But there's one more hurdle for new owners Pacific West Commercial Corporation, and that is a hearing before the province's regulator. In sports, the Kentville Wildcats are well ahead of their competitors going into tonight's baseball game against the Halifax Pelham Molson Canadians. The Wildcats stand at 15-4. And in entertainment, plenty of Nova Scotians are headed to the Halifax waterfront over the next few days to take in what the Tall Ships Festival has to offer. The all-female operated vessel, the Unicorn, arrived yesterday. And today's must read on our website. Read our coverage about the Halifax Cash for Concert scandal by reporter David Jackson. That's your Herald News Minute. Check back with us at 11.30 tomorrow morning for all the news from Nova Scotia and around the world.